Hello Taurus, welcome to your reading for November. We're doing shadow work this month. So I'd ask you to just take a deep breath and allow for spirit to come through to speak to you. I do believe that there's going to be enlightenment in this reading for you, Taurus. I actually see a big bright light coming through the window as you're sitting on your bed, literal or metaphorical, and I'm seeing you being filled with such warmth in your heart like you've never known before. I just feel such a warm feeling like sitting in front of a bonfire with people that you love. So it's not just a warmth in your own chest, but it's warmth from those around you as well. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck here, Taurus. And speaking of warmth, this could be the warmth of lights shining upon you as you stand on either a proverbial stage or literal stage. I'm hearing setting the stage. One, one, one on my time right now, Taurus. This is something that you've manifested. I'm hearing... That Taurus has set the stage for something. You've set the stage for something, Taurus. Card number one is the three of spheres, the three of pentacles. I knew there were other people involved here, Taurus. I saw a group of people sitting around a fire. You may be working on something with a group. And this card, to me, looks kind of like a circus, like a circus act. And with the six of wands, we also have the three of cups here. So yeah, this is a group effort. You may be putting on some sort of a performance with a group here, Taurus. Because it takes a lot to put on, like you've been to, or you've seen on a movie or something, Taurus, a circus performance. Or like Cirque du Soleil or something like that. That's what this reminds me of. It's very like avant-garde as well as what I'm picking up here. And it's not just because the cards have that vibe. It's like I'm seeing that you're you're connecting with a group of people here, Taurus, that like understands your vision with the Ace of Swords. Like if you're kind of a more like macabre, avant-garde, artistic, eccentric sort of a person here, Taurus, I'm seeing with this Ace of Swords that this group, this Three of Pentacles and Three of Cups, they are going to see your vision. I'm also seeing like with the Six of Wands that other people are going to see your vision as well. And with the Six of Wands, it's like you're being seen on the big stage. You're being recognized for something, Taurus. 333 on my clock as I'm saying this. You may be seeing 333. You may be in a period of your life, Taurus, that you are just leveling up big time. With the Three of Pentacles, it also talks about excellence. Excellence of character. Excellence of work. This is like the gold star. This is the A+. You're doing something, Taurus, that is just exceptional. But what I'm seeing is it's something deeper than that. The reason why your work, Six of Wands, Three of Pentacles, is exceptional is because you are an exceptional person. You're the type of person, Taurus, that takes your cart when you're at the grocery store and walks all the way, like far away from your car, to put that cart back where it belongs. Spirit sees all of that. That is a spirit of excellence. So what I'm seeing here, Taurus, is this goes much deeper than just like, wow, Taurus is an exceptional person. I'm seeing reviews being written up. I'm seeing reviews being written up about this show, whatever this is. I mean, this could literally even be like a podcast or something here, Taurus. I'm pausing on that. 
what I'm here to say, Taurus, is whatever area of your life this is, this could literally even just be like, Taurus is a wonderful mother. Taurus is exceptional in their field. Taurus is a talented musician that deserves to be recognized. Taurus should sell their work. Taurus's work is, I want to purchase Taurus's work. Whatever this is for you, Taurus, it's something exceptional with the Three of Pentacles. But I want to emphasize that this is about your character. Your work is secondary. It shines through. It's like, you know how people say, wow, they are beautiful from the inside out. Like they're not just beautiful physically. They're not just attractive. Their heart is beautiful. It's warm. There's a warmth in this reading, Taurus, that's just surrounding me. I feel like I'm inside of the flames. There's there's a real mothering sort of an energy here, Taurus, which makes sense because you're Venus. But I, it's it's more than that. And we also saw 333, which is to me the Empress. I think you're coming into a new period of nurture, Taurus. You may have been really working on your self-love, your self-worth, your self-nurture, reparenting, to use a psychological term. The things that were never done to you, the sort of nurture that you desired when you were a child, it's like you've been giving it to yourself or this is the advice you're about to. And what I'm seeing here is this is going to cause you to emanate this warm feeling that people are going to be like a moth to a flame. They're going to be drawn to that. Card number two is the king of spheres, the king of pentacles. The king of pentacles and the three of pentacles with the six of wands is not only success in what you're doing, like... If it was six of wands only, I would be thinking like, wow, say for example, you're online, Taurus. Say you have a podcast or something, or you make YouTube videos or whatever. You're, you have an Instagram, whatever it is. If I just saw the six of wands, I could, I could see like, oh, Taurus is going to receive more followers, more recognition. But with the king of pentacles and the three of pentacles, this tells me that this is not only going to be like people are, are yes, people are going to become aware of you, but it's more than that. There's something that you're going to pre be producing that's either going to become a business or it's like something else in your life is going to be bringing in more revenue so that you can focus more on your true craft Either way, Taurus, because there are a couple camps here. Regardless, I'm seeing funds. I'm seeing money coming in. I'm seeing like gold coins pouring through your hands. And you're like asking spirit, how do I invest this money to make the most of this money? Is how I'm seeing it. Like, it's a good problem to have. It's like I'm also seeing you trying to figure out how to fill out certain, like, tax information, which shows me maybe you're starting your own business with the King of Pentacles. Card number three is the Nine of Spheres, the Nine of Pentacles. There's a lot of Pentacles here. Three of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Taurus. This is extremely successful. And look, this is a tree. This is something that you are... Like the roots are going to go down with whatever this is and it's going to be solid. Like the winds may come, like recession may be in the world. Like, you know, people may be worried about money, but it's showing me that like you're going to be very solid and secure financially with whatever you are doing now, with whatever you are creating, it's going to only build upon itself and become more and more successful, specifically financially. But this is because you have excellence of character and this is just a further outshining of who you already are, Taurus. If you'd like to continue this reading, I'd love to have you over on Patreon. Link is in the top of the comments as well as in the description. Much love, Taurus, and I'll see you next month.